In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make your own version of this muzzle flash. First things first, this tutorial is for Mac and PC. Second, this tutorial is both for people who have basic softwares that come with their computers, such as iMovie or Movie Maker. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to download two things, which are both free. First is uh, GIMP, right here. And uh, GIMP is a free software. It's a photo manipulator. It has no bugs attached to it that would hurt your computer. It's sort of a larger software, so you don't want to have too many things open with it. But um, that and the program that it runs on, which I'll show you in a second, which is right here, X11. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to open up a new file. And what I'm going to be showing you here is instead of going to Google Images and searching muzzle flash and copying somebody else's muzzle flash, I'm going to show you how to make your own muzzle flash in about, um, like I made a good one the other day in less than half an hour. Right, right, okay. So we've got our new file, it's 1600 by 1600 pixels. Um, the background fill is transparency, and I'm just going to really quick open up another file, which uh, shows you what you're going to be making. It's going to be something similar to this, and um, probably this could use a little more orange on the edges, but other than that, I believe it looks done. Now, um, first, what you're going to want to start out doing is... Uh, figuring out what type of muzzle flash you are making. Um, are you making a machine gun muzzle flash? Are you making a pistol muzzle flash? Are you make, What angle are you making it from? Is it from the front, the side? It doesn't matter. So, uh, the one in Clone Modern Warfare, if you haven't seen that video, please watch it. It's probably, there's a probability that I'm putting a link over here. Anyway, uh, so, we're gonna have that. Alright, so my settings here. I grabbed a paintbrush, and I'm going to be showing you how to make the muzzle flash I just showed you. Um, uh, we're going to take the paintbrush here, and of course have the this color, and switch it. Originally it was here, we're going to switch it to white, using this handy little switcher tool, and the scale all the way up. Sadly you can't type in a number and make it a well. That's cool. I have no idea what that does. So, what we're going to start off doing is you're just going to make a nice little X here. And uh, make it so that the points that it ends off of are at different heights. So, I'm speaking up and down wise here. And see this one? You can make a little higher. So that I've got that through, what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of fill in these gaps just a little bit. And if you're new to GIMP, um, if you mess up, the eraser tool is right here, eh, right there. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and you're just going to want to keep that at 10, and you can just click and you have the tons of brushes just like the other one. I'll keep it as the one that I have now. And you can just touch it up. And I'll switch to me being done in right now. Bam! I'm done! So, oops. Alright. So this is what you base the basic shape you want to have it as. So uh, what I want you to do is I want you to right click on the layer you have and click alpha to selection okay alpha to selection just makes a selection um, it like pens around the borders of what you have created and for those of you who don't know these uh, checkered boxes that means that there is absolutely no color in that box it might show up uh, black or white where you save it but if you actually throw it into an editor or on top of another picture, then it will 
not have any color where those boxes are. And um, as you can see, obviously it doesn't doesn't select everything, but that's because this is too transparent for it to pick up. Um, and actually, that's sort of what we want. Now, um, what we're going to do is to select invert, and because of this, the tra transparent stuff, um, what we can do is we can take another color, take a nice bright yellow, sort of, mm. sort of like that, and uh, you're going to want to try to keep your, um, your brush, I just pointed at the screen trying to point at the brush, um, you want to keep your brush, try, try to keep it as, as much inside this white area as possible because our selection is all the alpha out here and we want to fill that, part of that, and we, dang it, it's on the eraser. Fail. Okay, we want to fill that, sorry, we want to fill that with some yellow and you're just going to want to Just click and drag. Oops, it's a little too dark. You wanted a light, pale yellow. And that's why you have the fuzzy. I'm getting that wrong. That's why you have the fuzzy. By now, you're going to begin to see the. Uh, it's, it's starting to look pretty good. What we're going to do is, this isn't the last thing we're going to do, is you're just going to take a look and add orange to this mix. Okay. So, undo select none. Always keep that selection. I'm going to do select, shrink the selection by about six. And now we're going to do that again. Alright, so we're going to go into our color and change it to a nice orange, so we will have good contrast. Okay, that looks good. And, whoops, sorry. Oh, I've got a um, feather selection. Select, no. And just do something like this. Alright, and that should do it for the coloring. Um, well, I explain this, I'm just gonna touch it up. Cause now, we're gonna make it look like a legit muzzle flash by distorting it a little. So you're gonna go to filters, distort, and uh, waves. And you're not going to want that, because that looks not that great. Um, you're going to want the wavelength almost all the way up, or all the way up, it doesn't matter. And you're going to want the amplitude quite low, so it just makes it look sort of wavy. And uh, go to 1.7, yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, you'll definitely want to play around with this, see what looks good, because uh, this is one of the more crucial elements because if you do it wrong it can look bad like on the phase I'm not exactly sure what that does but if you have it higher it tends to look better to me uh, you always want to look at your flash in its entirety alright so <laughs> um, we're gonna do that and it'll take a little bit and see it's nice and wavy a little. So this is your muzzle flash. And then what you do is you save this, save that, save a picture as PNG. Never, ever, ever save as JPEG. Okay? I'm not even joking. JPEG downgrades the quality of your images and PNG does not. Anyway. Alright, and uh, yeah, quite a bit has changed. Um, and lastly, what you're going to want to do is uh, just, uh, after you've saved it, 
open up your uh, picture, let's say this one for instance, and uh, what we're going to do is you can just go ahead and close this and then file open as layers and you simply throw it in there and yeah it'll look pretty sweet so anyway um let's say that somebody was shooting behind this dude um it it's really simple to do the first person thing it's a lot simpler on a uh, on an editing software but we'll just use this for now what you're going to want to do is reduce the opacity of this so you can see the border and take your handy dandy eraser tool and uh, just move it over here and erase away and always make sure you have that layer selected otherwise some bad things can happen very bad indeed and uh... Either you can do that or the uh, paths tool. The paths tool is exactly what it says it is. You use your mouse to pen something around an object, which if you want to fill it with something or whatever. Um, we're using it in this scenario to cover up part of a muzzle flash, which this minifig is covering up. Uh, you're, you hold control to finish off this and then you click enter to make this a selection and then uh, select feather just a little bit and then edit cut select nine yeah that looks good So, it's a little weird, but, uh, so there we go. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe if this video helped you, and if you want to see more of my brick films, if you want to see my brick films, uh, go ahead to go to my channel. And uh, also, if, you, if this video helped you, or if you liked it, please leave me a rating and tell me that it helped you. Because I like to know what people are helped by. Anyway, see you later, guys.